welcome back to another video. Today I've done a bit of a work with me just so you can see me doing a bit of nail art, just creating a set on myself. Obviously we're still in lockdown so I can't be doing sets on other people at the moment. Um, so just doing some work on myself, doing a bit of nail art. I used some inspiration from Chorn Legend. I'll show you the inspo pick here. So I'm just taking you along with me, showing you exactly what I do, which products I'm using and yeah, I hope you love the video. So first of all, I'm going to start off by applying my tips. Um, today I'm going to be using the square matte tips. I'm using the Clitabelle's tips with the NSI poly bond. I'm not going to be doing any prep on my nails just because um, I'm not doing them to stay on. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the tips on straight away. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go in, I'm going to size my tips up. they're all applied now so I'm just going to go in and trim those down and file them to this size and shape that one. like to check from all angles as well just to make sure they're straight till I'm completely happy with them and they look all okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my e-file with a sanding band this is a 240 sanding band and just blend in the tips Yeah, the tips are all blended now so normally I would go in with my dehydrator and primer and um, I'm not going to do with this set just because they're coming straight off I'm just doing them for the sake of the video and um, so yeah this is where you would dehydrate and prime but I'm just going to go in straight with the acrylic 
So there is my acrylic laid and filed. So now I'm just gonna go in with this halo color in powder blue. And I'm just gonna, oops. I'm just gonna decant this out onto my palette. And what I'm gonna grab is, I'm gonna use one of my brushes from my nail art brush collection from Glitter Bells. So this is a fine liner one. They come in a pack of four. Um, so these are always great for nail art. And I'm just gonna go in and start the design. I have still got the thumb to do but I'm going to top coat these just because the gel has a tacky layer on them so I don't want to um, damage or smudge or anything um, whilst I'm doing my thumb so I'm just going to go in and top coat these and then do the thumb afterwards.
going now with my cuticle oil from Kiki. watching don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on my other socials it's at the nail room by g on instagram and tiktok and i'll see you guys in the next video